We have an application for him to box in this country that has been refused. Spencer Oliver, you've been very vocal about this, as I have, for the last, I don't know, 12 months, 14 months. Mm -hmm. Where are we now? Are we any further on? Has he cleared his name, as, as Eddie Hearn is claiming, as Conor Ben is claiming? Has he cleared his name to the extent that he should be getting a licence from the Boxing Board of Control to fight uh, Chris Eubank Jr. in February? Unfortunately, he hasn't cleared his name just now. Um, you know, he's still got to go through that process. You know, there's been a lot of talk and, you know, we've had scientists involved and there's been a lot of talk of Connor proving his innocence, but the Boxing Board of Control still haven't received that. And so, you know, I think that they've done the right thing here, the Boxing Board of Control. They've had to take a stance on this. And I know that Connor Ben and his team feel that there's an agenda against him, but I just think with it being so high profile and, you know, with that situation, the way that it is, Connor Ben has to clear his name or if he can't clear his name, he has to take the punishment before he can move on with his career. Of course, we all want to see Conor Ben in the ring. He's great Agreed. for boxing. You know, he's great for British boxing. Of course, that big character, you know, and, and, and a really likeable guy. But the facts are the facts. He's failed two tests. They've still not been proven. So the Boxing Board of Control are doing the right thing because I think they would fall into that category of Boxing Board of no control had they, had they let this... Um, you know, had they let this go. And I think that that's where we're at right now. And I know Eddie Hearn's been saying, well, this fight will continue. They'll be talking about doing it on a different licence or whatnot. But the Boxing Board of Control, you know, I think they will put their foot down on that and just say, listen, anyone that's involved in taking part of this, if it goes on in British soil under a foreign licence, anyone taking part will be punished maybe by the Boxing Board of Control. So people have got to be very careful in what happens here well, and, move, and moving let, let, on. Let's be clear about what has happened and hasn't happened sure. then. Sure. Um, he's won his case almost uh, with the um, sporting resolutions or the arbitration court over jurisdiction, which is... Um, that UCAD didn't take the test, UK anti-doping. He, yeah. was, he was uh, found to have clomiphene in his system from a WBC test, yep. and the WBC is a sanctioning is not a sanctioning from body. From Avada testing. It, it's a belt yeah. body um, from Avada test, and he's also been uh, summonsed, if you like, with clomiphene in his system from a voluntary anti-doping test that wasn't to do with, yeah. um, with the UCAD testing either they've won that side of it the boxing board of control need to be stringent on any fighter in the future saying no no i didn't test positive with you with your ucad uk anti-doping test but i tested positive with someone else that doesn't count mm -hmm. being wrong that yeah. has to be wrong they have to have jurisdiction over that i think the board are doing the right thing following that all the way through to its completion I agree all the way into court if it has to be the second part of it is we mentioned dr human um, who I met in Poland, by the way, when uh, Daniel Dubois and Alexander Usyk were fighting, and he told me there was categoric evidence. He told me on the night, in in a face-to-face -face conversation, that there was evidence he had that Conor Ben um, had tested positive through consumption of food products, yeah. not through the consumption of a pharmaceutical drug. If they've got that evidence... And they've also got the uh, evidence from the World Boxing Council, who said that there are there is there is previous with people taking eggs and having clomiphene in their system. Then why aren't we having that part heard? My view is that they are worried about the strict liability and if him him having a minimum two year ban. Yeah, listen, I think that, look, Gareth, if. You know, it's gone so far. Connor's always pleaded his innocence. And if that's the only way that they can, he can prove his innocence, present the evidence. And, you know, forget the strict liability stuff. Present mm. the evidence because it's going to clear your name moving forward. It's been 18 months now anyway. The problem gonna, for Connor Ben. Yeah, but it's, it's going to clear his name, Gareth. But what I'm saying is the problem for him moving forward is he is always now going to play the villain as opposed, I, I to, as opposed I to the good guy. If he's got the evidence to clear his name, clear his name. Absolutely. And then he can turn around to anyone who ever says anything about him ab ab beyond any shadow of a doubt no I've actually proven that I am innocent and he may well be innocent yeah. that's the point so just go and do it because at the moment 
his story is emblematic of not just him. It's not just about him. It's a bigger story than Conor Ben, and that's what's happened. And, and honestly, the the in in my time in boxing over thirty years, I've never known a case so clomp, co complex, mm -hmm. so obfuscated, so such a lack of transparency in it that it, that in the end that the movement just doesn't make sense. There yeah. are so many anomalies along do, the way. Do you think Gareth and no transparency? Gareth, do you think, though, that that is because of the way that he's been dealt with? I think that it's yes, been dealt absolutely. with... It's been dealt with appallingly. It's moved right from, from pillar the to post to yeah. pillar to post so, the entire so time. So it makes him look more and more guilty all the time. And until you prove well, your innocence... Well, evasive rather than guilty. Yeah, yeah, th yeah, that's what I'm saying. So evasive, the, What maybe. I'm saying is that, that there is two proven, at separate times, two proven um, tests that, it, that he has not passed. They're proven. That's there. It's in black and white. That's facts. So you have to change it, Connor. The only way you can change it is by presenting this evidence and if you don't want to present the evidence because of strict liability then in my in my views you're stupid because you're young enough to be able to redeem yourself get on with your career and win back the public perception of you which right now yeah. is in the mud yeah, well, I think what will happen with this fight, I think it'll be stretched beyond... I think it'll go to March now. I cannot see it going ahead in February, unless it's a foreign commission, uh, which which has happened before. David Hay and, and Derek Chisora had mm. the Luxembourg yeah, Commission they, back in 2012. Yeah. It, it causes problems. It's called an unlicensed bout.